tattooing really is my, my shield and my sword. And it is, it protects me from everything that's toxic and it allows me to fight the good battle. Well, I was watching just different documentaries about kind of the, you know, the climate of America and everything like that, you know, it was like, man, what can I do to be a part of um, kind of counteracting, counterbalancing, you know, the level of hate and anger in the world. Um, and, you know, in my line of work, you come across these things, you see them, um, but a lot of times you never know. And it wasn't until I was able to say, oh, we're going to do these for free. Everybody was on board. You know, then that breaks down that wall, that breaks down that kind of barrier where people are worried about the judgment. It was right here on my chest, and it was like it had been ripped out of my skin, and then the rebel flag was showing through. And then, as I said, it just took on a life of its own with, because now the rebel flag is political, and it's, it, it's sad. So as a safe, safety for me and my family, I decided to ask Billy to cover it up for me. I wanted Billy to do something to cover it with love, and he did, and it's a tattoo for my daughter. And what he did with Beneath the Ink, that, like, I, I goosebumps. Like, that helped so many people out to, to kind of get over their past, look, look toward the future. You know, that helped a lot of people out. Because a lot of people don't have pockets full of money to come and get a tattoo. And with what he did, it was tremendous. Sadly enough, this kind of ideology and mind state kind of goes along with like a social and economic thing. And it's typically people who are poor and uneducated that don't have the money and don't have the mindset and who have been kind of trapped in these four walls forever that have been fed the same line of BS forever. For the most part, you know, once they open up and they, and they tell you what's been going on, you, you really, you know, I can't say that I understand wholeheartedly why they got these things or why they have these images tattooed on their body, but I understand that they've moved past it. So, um, you know, I, I, it doesn't anger me. A lot of times it makes me sad for them that these people have been walking around for you know, 10 plus years, some of them with these images that they don't want on their body, that they don't share that ideology anymore. So it's rewarding to know that we can help them and like they can move on and move past it. It's amazing.